of all of the FM24 new features, I think this one is going to be the biggest game changer. And uh, I'm very aware that you couldn't see you couldn't see that, could you? Because it was blurred. So you're going to have to watch the video to find out which one it was. Oh, smart, isn't it? Oh, I've, I've outdone myself. Come on. Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Football Manager 2024 video. I mean, it's coming out pretty soon and I've spoken about it not at all so far. Everyone else seems to be making all of these feature videos and chatting about all of the new improvements for the new game. And I've just been here sort of just twiddling my thumbs. Um, what does that actually mean? How boring is twiddling your thumbs? Anyway, whilst I've been doing that, Sports Interactive have been very busy releasing blog posts and trailers teasing the new game and the new features that are going to be included. The, I mean, the trailer looks nice. The, the blog posts, I've got around to reading them. And do you know what? I'm going to officially reveal this now. I'm excited for the new game. In today's video, I'm going to go through my favorite five new features that we've been teased so far through these blog posts and talk about them with you guys and tell you why I'm actually excited about them. They also released this roadmap of the new features that are going to be revealed to us. And we're, allowed, we're around about here on the individual player targets and interaction logic, which means we're about halfway through their roadmap of features. And I thought at this point, it's time to talk about them. Number one on my list of favorite features revealed so far by Sports Interactive over on the website is this one here. They've called it Better Conversations with Interaction Logic Changes. Now, one of my biggest bugbears on previous football managers, including FM23, is the interactions. They can sometimes just... They're just nonsensical sometimes. Sometimes the player reacts in the completely wrong way. And despite you applying logic, the, the, the player themselves or maybe the agent or maybe the, the different members of staff that you can speak to they don't really make sense. And it seems like SI, Sports Interactive, have taken this on board and they've made an active decision to try and improve it for FM24. They talk about one of the big changes is that they've improved the string severity system, meaning that there are more options for the player or the staff member to use, meaning that hopefully they can choose one that is more appropriate. They also talk about, and this is maybe my favorite part of this, that issues have also been resolved to address instances of unrealistic player unhappiness, which is maybe my biggest moan from FM23. Um, is it? It might be up there, you know. You know when you have a promise and it just doesn't work and you've got players being unhappy and you feel like actually you've done nothing wrong. It's really frustrating, isn't it? But apparently now they've provided clearer reasoning behind their concerns for the players, meaning that hopefully it makes a bit more sense. And so if a player is considering exploring options at the end of their contract, their desire should be made more obvious, be it the law of continental football or waiting for a club to be promoted. This was a thing that I think happened way too much. We see it in football. Players are using that player power to talk about and and you know say that they're going to leave at the end of their contracts and giving them that, that sign on fee for a new club and giving them the power. It happened loads in FM23. However, it felt like you could have a really happy player and then out of the blue, for no reason, they'd say they're going to consider their options at the end of their contract. And there was no way of turning it around again. They were just stuck leaving at the end of their contract for free. And you didn't really even have a chance to sell them because they just were going to say that they're going to leave. It was frustrating. Hopefully this clears this up. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping they can, they can see through what they're saying here. Because for me, this is really positive. And that's my first of my five favorite new features. Next up, my second favorite new feature that has been revealed so far. There are going to be more, so maybe we have to do a part two of this video if we find other ones that we really, really like. Next up is in this blog post here talking about intermediaries and offloading players. I'm going to combine them together because this is my second favorite feature. I love the idea that we're doing away with the old system, which was just offer players to clubs, which is just offer to clubs, which is just this made up thing where you click this button and then out of nowhere, teams might offer for your players and also selling players was quite frustrating. I don't know if you share my sentiments on that, but it was frustrating when players didn't get offers and you felt like, what can I do next? I'm hoping that this improvement, this new feature is a way that is going to, to solve that problem. It has then. If we scroll down here, you can now use an intermediary to help facilitate a sale. There are, there are more agent type staff in the game and through them, Hopefully it means that you're going to be able to sell a player a little bit easier. It will cost you. It's going to be 10% of the... They're going to get a commission of about 10% of the overall transfer fee. And this is something that exists in real life. You bring in people to help you to sell that player, to work with the agency or the agent, the player's agent. And yeah, it looks a little bit like this. We show you this picture. To use an intermediary, 
you head to the transfer drop down on your player's profile and click and hire an intermediary to sell player button. I'm hoping it just provides a little bit of hope for that player that just isn't getting offers and just you just can't shift them. You're stuck with them. And that's really frustrating. I guess that does happen in real life. You see Harry, you know, Harry Maguire at Manchester United. They just can't get rid of him. But it felt like it happened a lot on Football Manager. And with this, maybe you've got an option to get rid of those players. And also alongside another part of this, which if I scroll down, you should see, we'll also have something called Transfer Room, which is a real life a real life thing that exists. It's a digital service that actually exists in real life and it's going to replace that thing we talked about before, the offer to clubs option in the game. It will be an actual real life way of advertising a player and hopefully therefore getting you a few more bids. Maybe this alongside the intermediary solves one of our problems I think from last year's game which is it's difficult to sell players sometimes. I like these updates and I'm going to combine them together as the second of my favorite features that we've been showing so far. Let's go on to the next one. Number three is the improvement of AI transfer behavior. Apparently in FM24, they're going to be smarter. And if this is the case, I will, I will love it. I will love it. I will be there no matter what if this is the case. It means that you see so many weird transfers, don't you, in Football Manager. I guess there are a few in real life, but sometimes, especially the bigger clubs, just sign players for the sake of it and then you just see them out on loan immediately. I mean, I had this scenario, which is a classic back in FM22. Is there a botter bid in? <gasps> He's incredibly interested in talking to them. Should I count with 150 mil? Anyway, I'm going to accept it, chat. I don't know if this is the right decision. Genuinely, I don't. But I also feel like it's the thing that would happen in real life. Botter's loan listed. I genuinely think we should do this. 80k. We can genuinely afford this. What is going on with Football Manager, honestly? But in FM24, apparently this is less likely to happen and they're going to be a little bit smarter. It says brace for more transfer battles. And it says here, smarter opposition recruitment is the order of the day for FM24 with AI managers now programmed to consider factors like form and reputation more so than ever before. This sounds great. It means that it's going to be more difficult. One of the ways that you can really get ahead of any other team in FM is usually through transfers. I feel like if you're going to be able to shoot up the leagues from, you know, your non-league save up to winning the Champions League, it's usually because you can sign players better than the other teams can. If you go into a into the Premier League and you're like a mid-table team, you can quite quickly establish yourself in that top four because your transfers that you can make are just better than the transfers that the AI teams make. You can sign those wonder kids, you can develop them, you can sell them. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. I'm hoping that having the AI be able to behave in a way that is better, for example, being able to sign players based on their potential ability more than their current ability, if they're looking for backup options, which sounds really good, they're going to be able to build a squad in the way that you might as the player yourself. The better they get at it, the, the more of a challenge the game is going to be in. I think that's a good thing. I think we can all agree that that would be a good thing. I really like the idea that they're going to have smarter AI behaviors. And also, I just want to throw in into this particular feature. I do want to throw this one in here, which I think is a really cool one. I want to mention it because it's something that I've been asking for for a long time in FM, and that is new and dynamic income streams. There are going to be new TV deals. You're going to have different sponsorship deals. It's going to be a little bit more like real life. I think the whole marketing side of the game is something that has maybe been neglected a little bit in Football Manager. We don't see those sponsorship deals in any more than it's just one, one sentence in the email box. We just don't see it enough that if a club is rising up in terms of reputation, that it's reflected in not just some anonymous sponsorship deals, but in other ways too. They mention in the blog post that they are creating more dynamism and intrigue in every career. There's going to be greater fluctuation in the income your club receives. I think this is good. I think it... It's not so linear. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit more up and down. And I like this idea. It's not one of my main favorites, but I did want to throw it in here because it's all positive. It's all good. Let's move on to number four. In at number four, I've chosen the variations to player development. It seems so obvious, but in Football Manager 2024, we're going to see more players that might be recognized as late developers. And we see this in football all the time, but the, the meta... The way that everybody plays Football Manager is you sign young players because then they become really amazing and really valuable. And that's sort of the way of the world. You sell a player as soon as they hit 30 years old, like you're some type of Leonardo DiCaprio and you're talking about girlfriends. In Football Manager 2024, if there are players that are developing later in their careers or break through slightly later than would be considered typical, 
I think this disrupts this slightly, and I think it's only a good thing. It's a slightly minor thing, but I like it. It, it again, it's not so obvious. You know, when a player gets to 24 and they've not, they don't look like they're going to reach their potential. You can kind of give up on them in Football Manager 2023 and before. In 24, though, I'm hoping that that's not the case. You kind of go, well, do you know what? Let's take a punt on him. He hasn't made it yet, but do you know what? He might be a late developer, and in that case, you can get yourself a bargain. I think the more the more dynamic these things are, the more unpredictable these things are, the better the game's going to be. This is my fourth choice. I really like it. Let me know what you think. Let's find out, though. My fifth and final new feature is the one that I consider to be a real game changer. For me personally, it's my favourite new feature that they've revealed so far, and I truly do think it's a game changer, and that is this feature here that they've called Balancing the books and in in essence the thing that i love about this is that it mentions in certain instances where you've overspent your available funds this sentence or this part of a sentence here means you can overspend your transfer funds this means you have more flexibility in that if you are given your transfer budget as soon as you hit zero on any other game before you are you're stuck you can't sign players in fm24 it seems like you're going to be able to spend beyond that, but then you're going to be tasked with trying to make that money back. You have to sell players to get yourselves back into the black. And I just love the flexibility. It means that if there is that player that is like your missing link and it's deadline day and you just think, do you know what? We need to do this. We, are, we need this player. I know it's going to hurt us in the long term. We just have to bring him in and you overspend on him. And then you just have to make up for in the future. You can even have this as an idea. You're like, I've got this. I've got all of these young players. I know I'm going to make loads of money in the future. So I'm going to spend a little bit more now. It's what I've been doing for a long time using installments where I do get clubs into a, a little bit of debt. But it kind of makes sense. And you see this. You, you, see, like, you front load all of your transfer spend. It's kind of what Chelsea are doing in real life with Todd Bowley at the moment, isn't it? But spend loads now because actually you'll have all of those players and you're confident you can make all that money back in the future. It's a genuine tactic, and I love it for Football Manager 2024. They show it here. Look, your transfer budget is 30 million in uh, in debt here, insufficient transfer budget, and you're tasked with trying to make it up over in the future, which I think it's great. And also, I did also see over on Twitter, Miles responded to a tweet that asked him, could the board give you a negative transfer budget instead of an actual budget at the start of the season, i.e. you need to raise x million in sales because you've taken over a team that was relegated and miles simply responded with yes this gives so much so many different challenges for football manager 2024 those players those teams that are in debt it sort of was easy to overcome it they would just give you nothing in terms of transfer budget they can give you a negative amount right now meaning you have to go and generate all of that money yourself it's an extra layer of challenge it's an extra it's an extra incentive to go for those challenging saves. I love this. I genuinely, genuinely think this is a game changer and I cannot wait to get stuck into it. That is my fifth and final new feature. I, of course, though, as always, want to hear from you guys. What are you excited about FM24? I've taken my time with this. I've read these blog posts. I've not just jumped in and reacted and read you what's in there. I've thought about what I'm excited myself, but I do genuinely want to hear what from, from you guys. What are you excited about? And how are you feeling about the new game? Are you considering skipping this one? Are you waiting for the big changes of FM25? You can be honest. Let's let's have a chat about it because I, I like to think that you know that I'm being honest with you. I am genuinely now, and it's taken me a while, genuinely excited about FM24. I really like some of the changes. They're, they're minor, I guess, in, in the grand scheme of things, and there's lots more to come. They've just announced the J League, for example. But I, I, I'm quietly, quietly excited. I think it's going to be a good game. Let me know what you think. And uh, also, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for uh, for being patient. New videos coming soon. New movie coming soon. And um, But most importantly, have a lovely rest of your day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.